one of the biggest challenges when it comes to creating an online course, membership, coaching, consulting, any training program really, or even just a, a digital product is how do I do it? Like, what does it look like? I, I'm not really a tech person, so I don't really know how to use that stuff. I hear this so, so often during one of our challenges to create a digital product or mini course in eight days. I had people ask me before they signed up, are you going to help me with the tech side? Because I don't know how to do anything when it comes to that part. And I am so happy to report, okay? Let all of my years and years over, literally over, 20 years of tech experience, total tech geek here. You maybe can't tell by looking at me, but when I was 13, do you know what I asked for my birthday? Actually, not even 13, uh, because by the time I was 13, I think like my family would give me fries gift cards, which was like an electronic store. <laughs> and I remember one birthday they gave me a gift card to fries because it was my favorite store at the time. Now it's Micro Center or Apple. Um, and I bought a vacuum. <laughs> it was blue and it was sky blue and it was cute. And I just, I wanted a vacuum. That's, that's what I chose to do with my money. Um, but when I was very young, I don't remember even how long. But for those of you who remember, like they used to have the basic digital cameras. Okay, like cell phones were not a thing at this point. My mom had a cell phone, but it was like the big gray one, right? So cell phones are not a thing. So, you know, this kind of lets you know if you were around during this time. And so um, what I wanted for my birthday, and they got it for me, it was like a Barbie digital camera. And it was, I was in elementary school, I remember. I think I was like in the fifth or sixth grade. And uh, it was silver and shimmery on the outside. And it had a pink, like, little flower um, around the lens, uh, and the shutter button was pink, and it was so cute. And so after I got it, I was all excited to get it, and I'm sure the picture quality was not high resolution. Okay, it was it was a Barbie digital camera for a, a 10 year old, 10 11 year old. So after they got me the present, I would invite my friends over, and at the time, the popular picture place was called Star Shots. So if you say, oh wow, you seem so comfortable on camera. Well, I've been dealing with cameras since I was very, very young. Just always like technology. So uh, the, the popular photo portrait place at the time was Star Shots. And they would have pictures where, you know, they would have you go like this and smile. So I converted my bedroom into a <laughs> photo studio. My parents were so patient looking back on these memories. And I like put white sheets all around the room to make a white background and then I made my like I covered my desk with like soft uh some type of soft texture I don't remember what I just remember my friends would come over and they would do the pose and I would take pictures of them because that was fun to me and by the time I was 13 I was building websites as my hobby these were like the AOL instant messenger days. So why am I sharing that story with you? I'm sharing that story so you understand uh, that tech is your friend. And if you can't have confidence in that statement, you can have confidence in this statement. I am your friend. Hi, my name is Angel Santos and I am a marketing and course creation coach and I help women service-based entrepreneurs create and grow their businesses their courses and their memberships and one of the things that is always my goal right is to make the process of growing your business whatever stage you're in as easy on you as possible including the tech so if you feel like Ugh, the technology is just hurting me. Have no fear. I am here and I am here to help you. That's why I shared a little bit about my background. So since then, right, I've created websites for huge companies uh, like Texas A&M University. I've created websites for Emmy Award winning PBS producers and TV show hosts. And I've also created websites 
course sites and membership sites for women entrepreneurs just like you who are sharing their gifts and making their difference in the world one step at a time. And not only do I help women, not only do I, me and my team create it for them, but I also teach women how to edit, how to maintain it, and how to create it themselves. If you just want to do the DIY, the do-it-yourself route, that's what today is all about. I'm literally going to show you step-by-step step how to create a course in Kajabi, okay? So I'm super super excited I'm literally going to I wanted to do my opening here and then I'm going to snap my fingers and I'll be in front of my computer where I'll literally walk you through step by step by step and if you have questions I invite you to join us in our free and private Facebook community called Course Newbies where you're welcome to post any questions you have about this training and we also have a special link for you in the comments where if you sign up through our link, if you choose to use Kajabi for yourself, if you sign up through our link, not only do you get ongoing support, which means I'm here to answer any questions you have, but we're also, uh, we also have some special templates you can use that we created to make your job even easier, okay? So we have you all the way around covered. Technology is your friend. And again, if you can't have confidence in that statement, remember, my name is Angel and I am your friend. So I'm here to help you cover the tech. Ready? Here we go. So when you sign up for Kajabi using a link in the description section, you will see this screen. As soon as you enter all of your information, you will see this screen. Welcome to Kajabi. Welcome to Kajabi. Welcome to Kajabi. It is truly a great software. It is considered a all-in-one marketing business solution. Many entrepreneurs use it as their website, their email marketing, their landing and sales pages, their opt-in form. So basically like everything you need to promote your business. And then it can also be everything you need to deliver what you're selling, specifically your online course or program, right? And just to let you know that you're in good company, entrepreneurs who are in, who are seven and eight figure earners like Brendan Burchard, Amy Porterfield, Billy, sorry, Billy, Billy Jean from Billy Jean is marketing and so many different entrepreneurs. Oh, uh, I'm just forgetting. I could have just thought of like, who have you bought from? Lisa Sasevich, Grant Cardone. So many of the names you know who are in the business field, the coaching field, the sales and marketing, uh, fitness, uh, uh, Charlene Johnson, I think is her name. She was like in the fitness and now she does Instagram. She's just a, a serial entrepreneur, but so many brands that you are familiar with that you have either heard of or possibly bought from use Kajabi. It is considered an industry standard as far as software is concerned. So you are in good hands. Now let's jump into this tutorial. So I'm going to go step by step and the beauty is is that just pause it. The way I recommend doing this is having if you if you have two screens great. If you don't that is absolutely okay but just do like you do if you're anything like me when you're working and watching Netflix or Amazon Prime. Make this video uh, half the size of your screen and then make uh, open a new browser and make that browser half the size of the screen so you can see both at the same time and what I want you to do is literally if you know you want to uh, build this yourself just follow along and if I go too fast well just pause me pause me follow the step and go step by step by step that is how I taught myself starting at a very early age how to do things and to be honest it's, it's how I kind of perfected some skills, like, you know, how to edit out a green screen, some things I couldn't figure out on my own. But YouTube was not a thing 
when I was coming up. So a lot of it, I honestly, I taught myself like how to build websites and stuff like that. God allowed me to teach myself by just jumping in and exploring. I've never been afraid of clicking. My dad will tell you, people like, slow down, you're clicking too fast. But I've never been afraid to just jump in and go. The great thing is, is that you don't have to, you can follow me each step of the way. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to build your course. You're gonna click build your course and it's going to say, tell us about yourself. And you are going to just fill down the menu. So I am an entrepreneur and you just fill it out as how it pertains to you. Where are you at at your entrepreneurial journey? A lot of you are new to business. Do you have content ready for your course? A lot of you don't. So you just say, I have no content prepared. Do you currently have an audience following? So this is if you have an email list that maybe you've built in MailChimp or MailerLite, or even if you have a, a Facebook business page, an Instagram page, any type of following uh, uh, audience that you have built for yourself, even if it's offline. So let's just say maybe you're a speaker and you've collected um, people who uh, heard you speak, you collected their maybe name and email address. This is your audience. If you don't have one, that's absolutely okay. And we do provide training on how to build your audience in the, in the Course Newbies, our free Facebook group. If you'd like more information on that, you can definitely check that out. Um, but you're just going to answer what your size is. So if you're just starting out, just say, no, I am just starting out. And what industry are you in? So you're just going to choose your industry and next. See how easy that was? Um, so it's going to uh, give you this message to help you reach your goals, you've given us access to, uh, we've given you access to targeted training programs. So they give you a lot of training, but I know what it's like to wonder, okay, they've given me all this training, but where do I start? I just want to build my course so I can start selling it, right? Especially if you watch my video where I show you how simple it can be to add an extra 1K and how you turn that to 4K and how you turn that into 10k right you may just want to create your course and just start promoting it get it out there you're excited to grow your audience you're excited to sell your course and so that's what this training is for and so what you're going to go to is what you want to create so you're going to come to the menu on the left side of the screen where it says products and you're going to click that After you click products, we're going to select mini course, right? Because I don't want this training to be too long, but after I take you through this basic process, if you follow me step by step, I know you'll feel more comfortable and confident that, oh, okay, well, look, she showed me step by step, so all I have to do is do exactly what she did. You got this, you got this. So you're going to, come to the first option where it says mini course and click generate. And it says, what is the name of this mini course? And I'm just going to call it creating a course in Kajabi. You of course are going to name it whatever your course is going to be called. And yes, you can update this later as needed. Click save. So the first thing we're going to do is click edit details. And this is where we're going to edit the main details of your course. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a short one sentence description of your product in this box. So I'm going to call this a quick training for women entrepreneurs looking to build their first course in Kajabi. 
And now you're going to come here where it says product thumbnail and it gives you the dimension. So no worries, nice and easy, it's 1280 by 720. Um, and you're going to click pick file to put the image that will represent your course. If you, so you can do this a few ways, right? You can create your own image in Canva, C-A-N-V-A.com, which is a free graphic design tool. If you are graphically gifted and want to use Photoshop, Illustrator, any of those great things or other softwares, PicMonkey, you absolutely can. Or if you have a VA or a graphic designer that you work with, you can send them the dimensions and say, hey, I need a, a graphic that says, you know, your course title and, you know, and my picture and I need you to send that to me. <laughs> so you have several options uh, for the sake of this course. I am, I'm going to like literally do as many of the steps as I can with you so you see how, um, how easy and absolutely possible um, how simple and achievable it is. Now I'm going to use a pre-made image that I have, but all you would do is you would come to Canva and you would create an image. And let's see which one, I'll use this one, sure. And I'm just going to make a copy of it. And it's very click and go. So what did I call it? Um, create a course in Kajabi. And I'll do free mini training. So see, that's all I did. It's very, and as you can see, they also have uh, hundreds of templates on the left side for you. And now I am going to download the image, which is image 12. And now that that's ready, I'm going to go to pick file, which is exactly what you're going to do. Choose file. I'm going to navigate to my download folder. And select the image. And it doesn't need any cropping. Usually like the Facebook posts and the banner sizes automatically work. I don't usually have to resize. But if you start with the dimensions that are given, you know, you'll be fine. And you're going to click save. And now these changes will be reflected. Once it refresh, it'll let you know at the bottom product was successfully updated. You always want to make sure you see that. You want to save often <laughs> whenever you're building anything. So you're just going to select the creating a course in Kajabi right here. Um, next to the left facing arrow and you're going to click that to go to this main section where we're going to make our changes. So now you can see uh, we have an image and the description of our course uh, has been updated. So we are in business. Do you see how simple that was? And now all you need to do is upload your course content, right? So I just want you to see it's possible. I'm, I'm not saying that Kajabi or any website is easy, but I am saying there, it, it can be simple when you know the steps, when you know the order. Um, and that's what I'm here to show you because I don't want you to feel like not having enough time or not having a mo uh, enough money should stop you. It's all about taking, taking the time taking the money and investing in creating an online course, an online program that can literally change your, your financial, your business and personal future. And so now it is time to upload your course content. And the way you do that, and, and the great thing is in this mini course, they give you basically like a template of what you would include, right? So your welcome aboard message, 
your lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, and so what happens next. And they even give you, because Kajabi wants to make it as easy as possible, so they kind of give you an outline of what you uh, want the course to be. So you welcome people to your, from my example, creating a course in Kajabi. And then you put the what? What is the what? Creating a course in Kajabi. What is the why? Why? Because part of my calling from God is to use my gift to be able to see and take the ideas that women have for a business and to transform that into a structure, a plan, tangible steps you can follow to achieve that dream, that vision, that idea. That's my gift and that's my call because I know that it is an encouragement for women to have support. Um, and it is an empowerment to understand and know it's possible for you to absolutely make money online sharing what you know because you uniquely have a gift, you have knowledge, you have skills that will literally be used to help make others' lives um, better, right? Share what you know, share your gift, make your difference. That's the entire motto of the Course Creation Academy. So that's my why. <laughs> that's my what. That's part of why I'm here. And my how is this video. This video is how. How do you create a course in Kajabi? I'm literally showing you click by click. And so all you're going to do for if you wanted to make a mini course, is just answer these questions. And then what's next? What do you want your people to do next? So see, simple, absolutely possible. So you're welcome aboard. Uh, you could actually leave it like that if you wanted to. Uh, I like to usually say something like uh, start here, right? And then say welcome in the video. So start here and uh, here, Right here is the body, and this is just the welcome message that people will see. You can change this to whatever you want. Let me say this. If you want to, some people, when they do a course, they like to add a live element, like some type of welcome party or ongoing party or something like that. And if you want to do that, you can do that in the form of a webinar. And where you would link it is here where it says add automation. So basically, um, when they come into this part of your course, they could also sign up for the welcome party, which would be a webinar. I'm not going to get into that because I just wanted to show you the basics, but I just wanted you to understand like how do you use that. You use this to give them the option to sign up for something else and to automate that. Okay. Okay. We're keeping it simple. We're keeping it simple. You got this. So you're going to change this welcome message to whatever you wanted to say. And then you can choose to add a video or an assessment here. I'm going to add a quick video and I'm just going to use a video that I already have made for the sake of time. But um, of course you can add whatever video you create. Let's see, where is my... You can add a, a welcome video that you create for your people. Did I have a welcome? I should have one on here that I can use. Here we go. So once you create your video, you'll upload it here. And I'm just going to let this upload and then we'll move on to filling out the rest of our course content. You are halfway there. So once you upload it, it is going to send it to Wistia, which is what they use to host your videos, any videos that you upload to Kajabi. So that will take however long it takes usually not too long um, and that's really all you have to do aside from now adding another image so these are the images when someone is watching one of your lessons and it'll say like 
or one of your trainings, one of your modules, uh, it'll say like next lesson. It'll say, you know, lesson A, lesson B, lesson C, and it'll show them thumbnails of what's coming up next as well as where they are highlighted. So that's what this poster image is for. And for this image, um, what you can do is you can use the template that you created for the course in general and just add a banner that says, welcome. So just to show you, you're going to, and you don't have to change a lot, right? I would say just use the same image and maybe have you or your designer make quick uh, tweaks to the color and then you just change it. So it's still create a course in Kajabi. Actually, let me just crop this image because it's interfering with my editing the text. And then you could put, welcome, right? Bam, you have your image. The key to action is keeping things simple because when you complicate things, it can boggle you down. If you want to use the exact same image for the course for all of them, I actually don't recommend it. When you're going to use something, a software like Kajabi, you do want to do things right. So I would say if I'm showing you like the simplest way to do it. If this is still like if uploading these images feels tedious to you, then I would just say, have this created for you. Oh, okay. I accidentally downloaded all of those images and it gave me a zip file. So make sure when you go to download, you select which image you want. That's a helpful Canva tip. And I want image 12. So it's going to ask us to do that for each one. I'm not going to uh, keep going. I just wanted to show you that instance because I wanted you to see kind of a have a quick hack on how to make those poster images very quickly. So I'm going to go to downloads and select the new image. Save it. Give it a moment to upload and it's there. Look over everything. Remember, you by now you've uh, changed this text to what you want it to say. You have your image, you have your welcome video. I highly recommend making it something uh, appropriate for your audience. Uh, and after that, all you have to do is you're going, oh, before I, um, before I, go to the the next screen i want to say that if you're ever wondering oh, okay but what will it look like once i create it well make sure to always save before you go to the next step um but after you save you can click this preview button and what i like to do is right click the preview button and open it in a new tab so i can see what it looks like without leaving where i actually am in a course so this is showing you what it's going to look like. You have your text here, you have your video here, and you have your poster image here. And everything else are things that we have not customized yet. And so that's it. This is how you upload your content. And the only additional thing you need to know is that if you have a workbook or a PDF or any type of additional training or materials that you want, you can go right here to downloads and you're just going to click add downloads and you'll choose the relevant file so i'm literally just going to choose any pdf that i have and that's it and it will be available to your students for download so you click save every time you make a change and then you're just going to go back to the left arrow at the top where it says creating a course in Kajabi and click that. And now all you're going to do is go through each other portion. So start here is what we just changed. Now you're going to go lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, lesson four. And once you do that, you will have officially created your first course in 
Kajabi. It is absolutely possible. You can do this. Your people are waiting on you. And the last thing is to assign your course a price. We're not going to get into that, um, but I at least wanted to show you how, how, what, what, where, where, can, can, all of the questions that it comes, uh, that come up when it comes to making uh, an online course. How is it possible? Can I do this? Where do I start? Where? Well, I've literally just showed you step by step. So I look forward to seeing your course and make sure when you create it um, to tag me on Instagram at Christian Sheep New Academy so I can celebrate you or leave a, a link to your course in the comments. So once again, I can celebrate you. And if you have questions, make sure the make sure to post them in the comments or bring them to our private Facebook community, Course Newbies.